take it is super early and then we can take Abby to Children's Hospital. Find out what's wrong with her back. Let's go. Disappointed, frustrated, sad, angry. I, I, one, Abby's appointment today, we got zero answers, which is frustrating to just have to go clear over there for them to say, oh, okay, you're still in pain. Yeah, we probably need to do an MRI. Well, we already knew that. Like, why can't you just say, yeah, if that's what's the case, just order the MRI and send us for the MRI. Why do we have to waste our time to just talk in an office? when there's nothing being done. So that's frustrating. Um, and uh, I just scheduled her MRI and it's not for two weeks. It's as soon as they can get it because it's just a routine MRI. They don't have any urgency for it. Um, there's a potential that insurance won't cover the MRI unless Abby completes two to four more weeks of PT. So we find that out in the next week or so if insurance will cover it. Uh, speaking of insurance, I'm furious with insurance. I'm furious with um, Seattle Children's at this point. Um, side note with Abby, this is all about Abby and it's just sad that it's all happening to her. Um, sorry, hang on. I think one kid of mine is coming down. Um, Abby also needs to have wisdom teeth surgery at Children's Hospital. She also needs to have jaw surgery in two to three years, depending on when her bones stop growing. We have been waiting for insurance to get approved for her wisdom teeth surgery. That was six weeks ago. We still have not heard from the office to be able to schedule her appointment um, that insurance had in fact approved it. I have been calling and not getting any answers about it for the past two weeks or so. Um, cause they said to call after three weeks if we hadn't heard and finally got through to someone today and Children's Hospital never actually submitted the order to insurance. It's been six weeks. So they put the order in now. They say it only takes a week. So now suddenly it's only going to take a week when before it was going to take four. So I'm not sure. It's just frustrating. They also said that because it's not a rush order to have the surgery done, they're scheduled out till October. It's July. It's not even July. It's June. So then I follow up with the doctor because the, the hospital said if you can get the doctor to put a rush on that surgery, if she's in pain and they feel like there's a medical need to have that surgery put in as a rush, he can make that call and then submit that to insurance and then we can speed the process up and get her into an appointment sooner than October. I just wish, I just wish all this bureaucracy didn't have to happen. Like I just, US healthcare sucks. It just does. And it comes at the cost of the, the kids, like not getting the care that they need. And that's just really frustrating to me. I also have been trying to get a hold of my pediatrician's office to get the rheumatology lab work back from, I mean, that was like two months ago that we did that. And I still haven't gotten it. I can't access the portal. I haven't had any nurse call me back. Um, trying to give me those results. My doctor hasn't called me back with those results. I have tried to call the front desk and every time I call the front desk, they suddenly have a system failure and they can't access any scheduling, virtual or in person. So I'm again, 
following up with them today because the doctor today with the, the orthopedic specialist she's like are you sure this isn't um a, a rheumatoid issue maybe we should follow up with a rheumatologist and I was like I haven't I would assume that if it was that my doctor would have called me and so I've been assuming that there's the, the lab work came back fine um the only good thing that I have is that the doctor today said if Abby has taken ibuprofen in the past for her back pain and it doesn't do any good, it doesn't alleviate any of the pain, which is why we've upped her pain meds and gotten her in a prescription dose. Um, she said if it was a rheumatoid issue, ibuprofen would be the pain management and that would actually be the one that works and it's not. So that's a good sign, I guess, that it's not a rheumatology issue because if it's a rheumatology issue, it's a lifetime issue. It's not like a fix, um, which I'm kind of glad. I don't want her to have this chronic problem. It's not something I want for her. Um, so I'm hopeful that it's not and maybe that's why I haven't heard from him. It's just, why, why? I'm, I'm just fidgety because I'm I'm frustrated and I she's on the verge of a mental breakdown and it's just so sad. I'm frustrated. I'm just sitting here at my desk calling and calling and calling and leaving messages and scheduling and I'm not getting anywhere. I'm not getting any answers for her and it's just super All right. Depressed. I've got my little buddy. You're going to go with me? Yeah. Let's get an allergy pill though, okay? Yeah. And then where are we going to go? Um, oh, can you go get my, that like Costco like the little paper with Costco the little magazine has my sticky note on it all right we found out a few things in the past couple hours I've received a call back from um, my kids pediatrician I have officially gotten signed in to their portal now I can see all of their information I don't know what happened the first four times I tried to do it but this time worked like a charm it just they gave me a link I clicked into it and it worked. I'm trying to prop you up on my water. Getting Ashley a allergy pill. Oh, I shouldn't have a book. Okay, so then I checked into the portal and the nurse, when she called me back, she actually told me this, but I could look at the results myself on the portal. But her rheumatoid um, lab results came back completely normal. We already knew that the rest of the lab work came back fine. But they felt bad that like I didn't get that information until just now. So, no, I need the whole notebook. I guess I don't. I guess I don't. It's fine. I need to look out in the garage for laundry detergent and dish detergent. We're gonna go to Costco, Home Goods, Bath and Body Works. Yes, I just went to Costco, but the rebate started yesterday. So I have uh, toothpaste, Dove soap, Listerine, Dove deodorant, all. Palm olive, cinnamon toast crunch. What? You want cereal? cereal? And yes. we need butter. Abby yeah, started making popsicles. cookies. We can look for popsicles, yes. Um, but I need a, anyway, that's what we're doing. But I might, maybe Ashley, you want to help me? I might get my 4th of July stuff out, you know, cause it's like in, when you're seeing this video, it's in four days. <laughs> can you open the door? So it is what it is, but I like to decorate with it for the rest of the, the summer. Can you come open the door, Boo? Bath and Body Works is having a sale. I think my Waikiki Beach Coconut Lotion is on sale for $4.95. Oh. It's normally $13.50. Come on. Right. So yes, I'm going to stock up. And then Hobby Lobby, I might get a 4th of July mat. Maybe we'll grab my little 4th of July decoration bucket out here and see what we need. All right, okay, literally opened Pandora's box. I'm getting excited to decorate. I forgot that I had these pinwheels, so we can go and add those. Maybe we can do pinwheels in the back. That'd be kind of cute on the in the back so that I can have something cute to drive into every time I come home. Yeah. Okay, then we've got this little guy that goes on a little stand out front. So we can just set those, I don't know, we'll just put it all here because we are gonna go run our errands. But it does get me excited to like pull all of my stuff out. What is in that bag right there? Can you grab that bag, Ash? Okay, then I also found my little lanterns and I have just two signs I'm gonna do in the front entry. And then I have a whole bunch of other lanterns. Can you see them down in there, a bag? I usually use those to decorate for a, a church party, but we just need three of them. And it's perfect that they're all dusty because they kind of look more, you know, rustic. But we're gonna go wash our hands. We got kind of dusty. 
we're gonna come back to this, but I did want to check and make sure I didn't have a rug. I've been looking for a rug to go on the front porch. Okay. Okay. And so it's, it doesn't really show up well on, a, on, a, on an x-ray, whereas the MRI can definitely see the difference between the, the, the shell of the disc and the contents of the disc. Okay, okay. So, so the, the, the jelly material is kind of oozing out of, uh, out of that, or if it's, you know, shorter. Right. Compressed and stuff because it's lost volume. Uh huh. Anyway, so yeah, it's just another yet another way of imaging the tissue. Um, it's probably the best there is right now for that kind of thing. Okay. Love my dad. <laughs> I won't go into it too much, and I don't know how much I'm going to leave in there. He just kind of gives me medical information about what the MRI could give us results of, what are the scenarios, what could be the diagnosis, what could be the recovery, treatment, no treatment scenarios, so that I can prepare myself to be able to help Abby with the results. And so it's very helpful for me to be able to like talk to him and work through all these different things um, so that I can be there for her. And so that's what I was talking to him. And I've now been in my car <laughs> sitting in front of Hobby Lobby for 20 minutes after dropping Ashley off to um, do lemonade stands with Chelsea and her friend. And um, I think I'm ready to go and look for a <laughs> Fourth of July uh, play, uh, what do you call it? Mat to go in my front porch. I don't need it to be 4th of July. I just can't find one at the regular stores. But um, my dad is very helpful when it comes to medical stuff and advocating for her and making sure she's going to get the help that she needs. <laughs> anyway, let's go shop. Struck out at Hobby Lobby. So now we're going to go to Costco. Normally I wouldn't have worried about doing any of this. Ashley and Chelsea actually asked me if I could take them to a movie today, which we were supposed to do yesterday, but I had a bad day. Um, but one, it's too sunny. They need to be outside playing today. And two, we need toothpaste. We're literally down to using our travel toothpaste. <laughs> we have like nothing left. So if I'm gonna get toothpaste, I'm just gonna get all the rest of the stuff. All right, here's what I've got so far. I've got deodorant for me and for him. I've got mouthwash, bars of soap. This is cheaper here when it's on rebate versus the dollar store. Then I've got my toothpaste. I actually found mayonnaise. This is my favorite kind. And I just bought one yesterday at Target for probably the same price for one. So, and then I got some, um, what do you call these? Q-tips and cereal. Now, oh, and some palm olive. Okay, there's too many people here. When I get to the car, I'll tell you why I'm doing all this today and waiting for the rebate. I'll just tell you. It's worth it. I've saved, I think, almost $40 just by waiting to get it today. That's worth, like, almost everything here in the front car. So, just saying. All right, back at home, I wanted to show you Chelsea's little sign. I kind of showed it to you earlier. Look how cute they made this. And she has some fun news about the cake pops that they were selling. They were selling them for $1.50 a piece. Um, and then also, here's her little lunch. And she almost cut her orange wrong. We either do slices or wedges like that. And she's about to cut it that way. Oh, man. Anyway, but that's that's a 12-year-old's choice of lunch. She is such a well-balanced kid. Also, I went to, what is it called? Bath and Body Works. They didn't have my kind of lotion. I got these two because they were only $4. But I am going to go and check out another location. Probably not tomorrow, but I'm going to be in that area on next week, I think. Um, so I'm going to go try and check it out. But, like, it's such a good deal. So I would have saved 10 bucks per bottle. But that's incredible. So while it does take some extra time to, like, go to the stores, especially when the sun is shining, it was hard to be out and about today when... What is wrong with my lighting? Bad lighting. It was hard to be out and about running errands when it was sunny outside, but I need to capture those deals. That's how I save money and keep our family afloat. Um, 
just alone at the at Costco I saved forty dollars. We spent a hundred. So I saved like thirty-five, almost forty percent. Like that's incredible. Like that's a really good deal. Not forty percent, probably about thirty-three percent. And then saved a ton on those lotions. But I'm just making my artichoke for the day. And yeah. uh, making sure the kids have uh, no. gotten something to eat. You're gonna go back out? No. I want Chelsea to tell us what deal you got with your, um, with someone who came to your lemonade stand. Okay, tell me again how much money you earned from your lemonade stand. Well, we got um, 62. Well, yeah, 67 and then- Are you we, kidding me? Then we divided it by- Was that just from the lemonade and the cake pops that you sold? And buenos, yeah. And what? Buenos. What are, oh, and the chocolates? Yeah. yeah. Holy cow. So you made 20 bucks just standing out on, out on the corner? It was 22 bucks. And you got paid from your yeah. scan finally, Ash. Yeah. So you have like 100 bucks, girl. Yeah. You, well, have a, you have a lot. Hey, like but Chelsea, day. tell us about what you got a deal with, your cake pops. Oh, yeah. So my friend made these like homemade cake pops. Oh, yeah, I was there. there. No, you weren't. Well, it's okay. Like just tell us. Just tell us. Anyways, um, this lady came by and she tried one and she like came back later and asked us if we could make like a bunch more for a party she's having, so. That's pretty cool, kiddo. We're gonna have at least 24. You're gonna make 24, and you're gonna go and help her do that tomorrow, make them? Yeah. And then we're gonna go to a movie. What time? Right? Yeah. Today? No, we're gonna go tomorrow when her yeah. friend has to go play soccer. That's when we'll go to the movie. Oh, actually, my iPad was down here. Okay, well, eat your lunch. the magic places in the world I've been to this is where my heart is oh you know it's true no matter where I go I'm coming home to you